Oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. A single soldier is nothing. Millions must die. Okay. I don't want to be the cons... Don't want the consequences of my own actions. What am I supposed to do? Um. Okay. Maybe that. Get back over here. What is he doing? Um. Maybe that? Oh, gosh, he's right there. Can I leave? I don't know if I can leave. I don't know if I can leave. There we go. Oh, great. Okay. I hope I'm doing this right. I don't know which way these things are supposed to be turned. But... Cool. Uh-oh. Run! Run! Miss me. That's fine. We'll be okay. I really hope this is right. Did I do this right? The, the consequences of my actions have been brought. this thing what just a single soldier is nothing millions must die somebody's still talking welcome back to ad infinitum everybody infinitum however you say it okay well i don't really know what just happened what that's supposed to mean but here we are <laughs> trophy the diseased brain of the saboteur So we keep waking back up in the house. Okay. I am really excited to like actually see what is going on. As far as the story goes, looks like we've, oh, there's an airplane here. You've almost fixed it now. Uh, this is to certify that Paul von Schmidt has graduated the Prussian Military Cadet Academy with flying collars as of April 1916 and is hereby recommended for the officer's fast track in aid of the war effort. Okay. The front is eating us alive here in Flanders. And what's left of us, the rats and the lice take too. I pray every day for this war to be over before the next wave of German heroes is burned to ashes in this madness. Please reply, just this once at least. 
Okay, so that's from Yo Johannes. And I'm like, okay, so I'm pretty much like 95% sure that we are Paul. And Johannes is our brother. Um, and just that's that's where I'm at right now. Here we go. Okay, so we've looked at that before. A gift from the great general. Okay, we've looked at all of that so far. Too. Okay, let's get out into the house. The big spooky house. I don't like that. Is that the mannequin? Rude. Your brother's room is locked, but you're sure you saw something. It can't be him, can it? Okay, let's take a look and see what we need to do. Find the cause of the electrical failure. Okay, so we are going to be looking f for the cause of the electrical failure. Elevator up to the attic must be new. You wonder what's up there. It's so dark. I'm gonna look around up here first, and then we'll uh, <laughs> we'll go downstairs. I have a feeling we're gonna need to go downstairs because that's where the elevator went. But okay, we're down the stairs. How do we even access the? Oh, here we go. Well, the elevator comes right into the mom's room. Is that our dad's wheelchair? Storage room key. Key to the storage room. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we're just, we're still here. Okay, I thought it might take us back to, like, the, uh, the battlefield there, but, but no. Okay. So we're, like, in the cellar? Kinda looks like a cellar. What's this? Okay, some more matches. Okay. So there's distorted breathing sounds. Love that. I can't even hear it. But that's okay. There's okay, a telephone. Let's light that up. Let's light this up here too. Why is there a phone? On this wake wheelchair. Up. You need to wake up. You need to come back. Is that it? Okay, so you need to wake up, you need to come back. I wonder if first I'm gonna go back there's a door over there that I didn't check. Yeah, screw that. Um so I wonder if this isn't... Okay, so that's locked. Okay. I wonder if this isn't like a purgatory thing. I'm curious if if we are Paul, if we got injured, um, if this is just all in our mind, like while we're like dying, and maybe these are just some kind of distorted memories playing out. And like how we're viewing things and how we viewed things in the past and just our subconscious doing things oh okay so here we are this is where um we were 
wonder if we got gassed. In this room right here. Okay, we can't get in there though. That's that's fine. Um but yeah, I don't know if there's any credibility to that theory, but it's possible. Okay, I can't unlock that. So that looks like the power right there. Looks like that's where we might need to um, be able to fix that at. Okay, there we go. That's the key that we picked up. Let's close this. We like closing doors behind us. So Why are the savages locked in there, Grandfather? So you can learn from their fate. Take a closer look. See how they're sitting on the floor, naked, in the dirt. Do they have anything to be proud of, Paul? Mm -mm. And yet, they are. They charged into our machine gun fire, screaming like madmen and waving their primitive spears. They fell like flies in their hundreds. Pride without cause is idiocy. Pure and simple. Remember that. You're not like them. Your blood and your heritage give you something to be proud of. Leave the dying to the idiots. <laughs> There's a clump of hair sticking out of the case. What's this? Gosh. What is up with this mannequin? Key to the blue door. What door is that? Apart from the blue one. Okay, so we can move that now. So we can get in there. Okay. Uh, let's take a look over here. Let's light these up. The Virgin Mary, she looks sad. Needle and thread, skin and hair. You feel a little sick. This is where the mannequin was made. Okay. Page from the Bible. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came up and touched the bear. And the bear stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man stood up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. Luke 7, 13 through 15. Okay. I know I cannot ask you for both. I want Johannes to live. I have chosen him. Please accept Paul into your heavenly kingdom. He is a good boy. I cut off the cuckoo's flesh as I cut off its life, so that Johannes may live in its stead. Please, dear Lord, come to my aid and bring back my Johannes. Okay, so obviously our mom was trying to make some kind of weird deal and bring back Johannes, but are we dead? Is that the case? Or is she just making deals to bring one of us back alive? Obviously, the note from before said that we were both dead, but I, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Note, objects of study. Skulls from the German, from German Southwest Africa for further scientific investigation. Recommended for use as objects of study. Shipping company note. Please expect the great general's cases and boxes around midday on Friday, June 7th. Our forwarding agent... Will you be quiet? The electric thing. Our forwarding agent will collect the goods from the steamboat in the port of Hamburg on one day prior to this. Following delivery, my staff will remain at your disposal in order to carry all the goods you do not need in your house itself down to the desired area of your basement. I shall send your invoice upon completion of the work. I wish your father, General Von Smith, a speedy recovery. H... Bergman, Bergman and Son Shipping, June 1st, 1907. Okay, so they're delivering boxes to the basement. You are obnoxious. 
label from the shipping company. The cases have some long way have come a long way. So these are the cases they were talking about. Okay. Send them home. You're right, Johannes. Teresa and I have decided to help you once the war is over. We'll liberate the skulls from your parents' basement and send the crates back. It's the least we can do. After everything our fathers and forefathers did to them, let us hope they can find peace in their soil of their homeland. Rudy. So these skulls were from the uh, the indigenous people or the people of uh, wherever he was, the general. That's what I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's another thing here. Label for transfer to the Pathological Institute of Berlin. Okay. I guess to study? I don't really know. There we go. We have power. Nothing else needed to be done here. Okay. Okay, so... What was that noise? Okay, let's check this. Find a way out of the basement. Okay. Take a look over here. Did we check this door? Yeah, it's locked. Okay. It's probably going to be the door at the top of the stairs. Yeah. Okay. So we have the blue door key. Use the key to open the blue door. Yeah. So we got to find the blue door. I don't know where the door is going to be. Oh, probably going to be back in the place. I can't over there, boy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so we can't get through there. We can't get through... Oh, we can get through here now. I don't think we could come through here before. No, we couldn't. Ooh. Why is it so dark? Everything's so dark. Hello? There's another one of those cases. Article, The Factory. Article dated May 20th, 1906. Carl von Schmidt and Company Paint Factories of AIDS Bankruptcy. The Berlin-based company, which specializes in the production of chemical substances for medical and industrial use, has been saved from bankruptcy by an injection of private funds from owner Carl von Schmidt. Investments from partners were surprisingly thin on the ground when Carl von Schmidt and Co.'s leading chemists were poached by a competitor in Wuppertal. Wupert Carl von Schmidt is the son of famous Prussian general Lothar von Schmidt. The investment of private funds has saved the jobs of 350 employees in the company's Berlin at the company's Berlin premises. Whether this money can secure the in, enterprise's future, however, remains to be seen. Okay, so our dad dumped a bunch of money into this private or this company. Okay. To save the company itself. Oh wait, this takes us back. Oh, okay. So we're back upstairs. So what what door's the blue door? This one? No. <gasps> it's our brother's door. Oh, sweet. Is this our brother's door? Wait, are we upstairs? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is. Okay, cool. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, it's the other tin can. Okay, so we, we, our brother and I used to talk through this. Okay. Okay, 
not really exactly sure what that was in reference to. Maybe because we came in late to the war and our brother didn't like that fact and we were a general, right? Because we outranked him whenever we came in even though we were younger. Painting. Spring Awakening. 22. He wasn't smiling the night you saw the two of them together. Okay, so we have a painting. Those Photo. who gaze at mother's tree are the same and yet not so. One I told in confidence, you see, a secret that I know. The keeper of my secret has a mouth like spring awakening, wings like resurrection, eyes like the self. Okay. Painting the garden. This picture reminds you of your childhood. Okay. The Dove and the War. Dear Johannes, once the war is over, we shall finally get our exhibition, and it shall be more beautiful than ever. I have received your sketches for our poster campaign in support of our soldiers. Christian will love them too. I cannot wait for the next time I see the two of you and Rudy. There is so much I want to share with you. I have seen so much on my way to the front, but for now, letters will have to do. Take care of yourself, soldier. Otherwise, I'll have to come over there and stitch you back together again. I am to be deployed as a nurse within the next few days. Yours, Teresa. Okay. Dear father, you have disowned me not because of that night in the attic, but because I am a rebel within the confines of this family. If you had dared rebel against your own father, you could have spared mother much pain and torture. Your only loyalty is to a dead man. This house is under the rule of the dead. His spirit pervades every stone. I am packing and moving out. Soon you shall be rid of me. I would rather go to war than return to this accursed house. Johannes, July 1914. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not good. Flyer, the exhibition. The artist collective, the Blue Dove, invites you to Berlin Canvases, an expedition by local artists in word, image, and sculpture at the cafe in the... Sh yeah, that place. July 30th, September 15th, 1914. <laughs> okay. I believe that's everything in here. Let's check this. Collect Johannes' paintings and uncover their secret. He wasn't smiling the night the two of them... You, the night you saw the two of them together. Those who gaze at Mother's tree are the same and yet not so. One I told in confidence you see the secret that I know. Do we have to go to the courtyard? It said Mother's tree. So it's either something in the mom's room or outside in the courtyard, I assume. I believe this is the mother's room, so. Yeah, I don't really see anything in here. Okay, we can, cool. Well, what happened in here? All of these bodies. Okay, we'll read that after we answer the phone. Okay, it just hung up on me. But I think it was reading off the name of all the dead. Again. The Blue Dove Berlin. Having been called to arms to protect the fatherland, the following beloved members of our association did suffer heroic deaths in the fall of 1914. 
in faithful fulfillment of their duty. Theresa Galvile, author and nurse. Rudi Meyer, author. Christian Mertens, painter and salesman. Conrad Bonhart, poet and accountant. Deeply saddened, we mourn the loss of our comrades in the fight for justice and freedom. The Blue Dove will honor their memory and their work. May they rest in peace, far from home and in foreign soil. Okay, so Teresa was the girl who wrote Johannes about being a nurse that she was getting shipped off in a couple days. And there was a mention of Rudy and Christian as well. Conrad, I can't remember, but, but yeah, so they all died. That's not good. Okay, so we still have to collect Johannes Payne's and go recover the secrets. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get around here. Yeah, this door is unlocked. Okay. Try to get out to the courtyard, maybe. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking right here, because this... Those who gaze at Mother's Tree are the same and yet not so. One I told in confidence, you see, a secret that I know. What is this doing? Come back. You're dreaming. Can you hear me? See, that makes me think that we're not dead. But something about this tree is significant to the paintings, right? Maybe over here. Painting Resurrection 4. You never liked this picture. There's also these symbols on the back. So, not really sure what those really indicate. Painting self 8. He looks at you sadly as if he knew what fate had in store. So it's eight. Let's take a look at the other ones real quick. Painting 22, four, eight. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder over here now. I don't think this was here before. Let's go ahead and go up. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here because we searched around the spot a couple times and I don't think we ever saw this, so this has got to be new. Okay, where's this taking us? It's taking us back inside. The phone gonna ring? They have found my Johannes! My heart is bursting with joy! He is already in Lübeck, and will be here soon. I have cleaned the large attic room, so he may be made comfortable. I shall buy paints and canvases for him. My Johannes is coming home! So Johannes didn't die. Letter from Mill Hospital, illegible. To inform you that your son Johannes von Schmidt is alive and has been discharged from military service as a war invalid. Until now, he is, his physical condition has necessitated long-term medical care at Reserve Military Hospital 3 in Lübeck. Your son can be taken into your care in two weeks' time, September 2nd, 1918, if rest ill-eligible. Okay. So Johannes didn't die. But did we die? That's the big question. Are we dead? Okay, so it takes us back in there. I don't want to go in there yet. Probably gonna have to go down that way. Yeah, this is gonna. I figured this is gonna ring. There's probably the attic up there. Up, soldier. Wake up, soldier. You need to come back. You need to finish it. Come back and finish it. Unless they're trying to pull us back into that part of our subconscious, like back into the battlefield. Maybe that's Ultra what it's trying 5th, to do. 1918. 
I refuse to go up to the attic. The wailing and clattering alone is unbearable. And the smell. Wailing and clattering alone is unbearable, and the smell. So, I mean, I said it was an invalid. I'm gonna go up there in a second. I wanna see if there's any other paintings that we might need to find before we go up there. Of course, this might just be a dead end. Okay, well, there was nothing. It just takes us right over to there, and that's it. And there's nothing out there, so let's try to go up into the attic. We've been talking about this attic this whole time, and this is the first time we're going to be able to actually go up. I thought the elevator was going to play a part in that, but apparently not. Oh, I need a key. What? Where do I get a key at? Click Johannes' paintings and uncover their secrets. 22... Four, eight. Okay. I have a feeling, like, do we have to, like, place these somewhere overlooking the tree? I really don't know, because I'm going to read that one again. Um, but yeah, like, <sighs> my secret, those who gaze at mother's tree are the same and yet not so. One I told in confidence, you see, a secret that I know. So maybe this one and this one? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, wait. You can move this. Oh, uh, so that one there is that. Can we climb up there? Climb up there and take that? So it was four, eight. 22. Hmm. Maybe 8, 4, 22? Okay, let's take a look here, because the first one that we found was this one, so it's going to be... Okay, it's a 22. Then 4, 8... So we'll try that. There we go. Something hidden inside there. Attic key. Found the key to the attic. Nice. Okay. Cool. All right. I love puzzles. They make me so happy. It's half expecting us to get, like, attacked or something. There we go. Okay, so that makes more sense now. So the paintings didn't need to go over... ...looking the tree or anything. These are what was overlooking... ...or what were overlooking the trees, or are overlooking the trees. Okay, tree. So I was on the right track, just wrong item. Alright, now we can get into the attic. Mm. So excited. What the attic has in store for us. Maybe some answers. Or we get stuck right here. Come on. You're no son of mine. You're a disgrace to this family. You perverts are driving our nation to ruin. Carl, don't. Nothing happened. War is coming, and you're going to die. Look at yourselves! You're not men! Interesting. Our dad was an ass. You remember how much time your brother used to spend with the pigeons? He could spend hours watching them soar over the rooftops. Page from an encyclopedia. Cuckoos do not brood themselves. Instead... 
What is that noise? What is that noise? I heard something and I don't like it. I'm gonna stand over here. What is that noise? Okay. Instead, they usually lay their eggs one at a time in the nests of other birds, taking one of the original eggs in return, which they then often devour. Certain species lay their eggs in the nest of smaller birds. In such cases, the raising of the cuckoo frequently leads to the deaths of the mother, mother's true chicks. The young cuckoo grows quickly and requires large quantities of food, which it steals from the legitimate chicks before throwing them out of the nest. Despite this, the parent will still sacrifice everything to keep it, keep it fed. Interesting. I wonder how true that is. Will you... There's a rat or something up here. And I don't like it. Okay, I'm making sure that I don't miss anything. here. Okay. Can I go up the ladder? Well, let me go up. Oh, there we go. Cool. Is this the bed? No way she stuck my invalid brother up here. <laughs> strange. Let's read this. Postcard from Christian. Dear Johannes, they say the war will be over before the first leaves fall. Won't that be grand? The others at the cafe said you enlisted too. How marvelous. You'll still be able to move out of, the, out from home once we have emerged victorious. We'll meet again at the front as comrades fighting for the fatherland. Your father was right. What happened between us in the attic was just childish games, wasn't it? Your friend Christian, trained on the Western Front. Oh, great. Okay. Everything here is how he left five years ago. He caught them before he could finish it. Nothing happened! Did it, Johannes? Tell him! Christian! You've got no idea who I am. <gasps> Paul did the right thing telling us what you were doing up here. Look at you, a pair of filthy strumpets! You repulse me, the pair of you! Get out! Get out of my house! Okay, I understand what happened now. Can I- can I leave this area, though? Like... Nope, stuck here for forever. There we go. Oh, we couldn't just- we just had to walk, yeah. Just had to walk backwards off of it. Okay, that works. Okay. All right. Johannes's paintings will protect me from the cuckoo. I show them to it every day to make sure. Cuckoo wants to paint too. I have taken its awful paintings away from it. I don't want to see them. I give it nothing but the black oil paints to drink. It wants them. And I don't want it to live. What? The cuckoo wants to paint too. The cuckoo's a bird. Who is she referring to whenever she says that? I know she's crazy, but like... I don't really understand what that is in reference to, if anything. Maybe she's just crazy and think the birds want to paint. Return to me is not Johannes. It is a cuckoo. Come to sit in his nest. A cuckoo, that's what it is. It sits up there in the attic and expects me to cater to its every whim. Just like he used to be. Carl's father. Perhaps it is Carl's father. Torturing me still. He refuses to remain dead. Okay, so, all right, yeah. So Johannes didn't die, but he's 
invalid and it's not the same son that she remembers going off to war and obviously war changes people too so she's referring to Johannes as a cuckoo a cuckoo whatever however you want to pronounce it and they come in and devour everything and throw out the uh, the actual little baby birdies so it's all just kind of a metaphor for how he is not the same. Also, how big is this damn house? I would very much like to know. This house is freaking massive. Okay, I don't really know. Okay, so we started drawing. The smell of, of the paint makes you feel sick. Started drawing some really weird paintings. The paint is still fresh, but it can't be. There's something else up here in the attic. What if it is him? What if he's still alive? You plead to finally wake up and be let out of this nightmare. It's just a nightmare. You don't want to know what's behind the door. You're right. But we're gonna find out. <laughs> 